Hello you most beautiful and most amazing top tenors, how are you doing today? Fantastically I hope, I'm Rebecca Felgate and today we are talking the top 10 Disney movie flops. Disney has had so many hits over the company's 90 year history, however Walt Disney and his studio haven't always been on to winners. While it is true that many movies in this list simply were not appreciated in their time, some of them were just plain stinkers. Listen on to hear the top 10 Disney movie flops of all time. In at number 10 we have the adventures of Ichabod and Mr Toad. This 1949 fantasy drama is an amalgamation of two stories, with the first based on Mr Toad from The Wind in the Willows and the second on The Legend of the Sleepy Hollow, which fun fact would later become the basis of a horror movie. For at least in 1949, people simply felt that the two stories did not work alongside one another and since 1955 have been separated for their own individual release. Audiences and critics felt tepid towards the animated feature, although many years later the movies have enjoyed individual cult followings. Rotten Tomatoes has even rated Mr. Toad as 93% fresh. In at number 9, we have Pinocchio. Say what? Following the success of Snow White in 1937, Disney thought he was onto a winning streak. Apparently not. A number of factors, including the war in Europe, made success in the early 40s pretty difficult. One film Disney struggled to turn a profit from was Pinocchio. Sure, it's now a lovable classic, but back in 1940 when the film was released, it made a loss. Costing double what Snow White took to make, Pinocchio cost $2.3 million, making back just two. Luckily, over the years, people have found a real love for an arguably real boy. Re releasing has gained the film $84.2 million at the box office. Pinocchio is loved by many today with an incredible Rotten Tomatoes rating of 100%. In at number 8 we have The Sorcerer's Apprentice. So I guess I'm not actually surprised that this 2010 movie musical wasn't a hit as I literally had never even heard of it until I made this video. Starring the one and only Nicolas Cage, The Sorcerer's Apprentice takes its inspiration from a scene in Fantasia. Set in modern day Manhattan, this movie had a budget of $150 million. Despite starring Nicolas Cage and being based on familiar Disney material, audiences and critics felt very lukewarm towards the film, which has a rating of just 41% on Rotten Tomatoes. Padre Magazine listed the film as number one on its list of biggest box office flops of 2010. Ok so maybe the first three I understand, but numbers 7 and 6 on this list really shocked me. At number 7 we have Bambi. Surely Bambi? Bambi was not a flop. I absolutely love Bambi, although apparently wartime audiences weren't that keen on seeing a young deer losing its mother in a tragic turn of events. Released in 1942, Bambi suffered from distribution issues overseas in a war torn Europe. Bambi had a budget of 858,000 and ultimately cost around 1.7 million to make and promote. At the time of its release, it only managed to recoup 1.6 million, ultimately making a loss. Hunters were also outraged that the movie painted them in a bad light, which I for one think is a bit ridiculous, just maybe they shouldn't be shooting animals. However, over the years, Bambi was reissued and finally gained the success it deserved, eventually grossing $267.4 million dollars at the box office. It also received a rating of 91% on Rotten Tomatoes. Next up, a movie that Disney himself wasn't even too keen on. At number 6 we have Alice in Wonderland. Disney himself admitted that his 1951 musical fantasy Alice in Wonderland lacked heart. Disney's Alice in Wonderland was an adaptation of British writer Lewis Carroll's classic novel. At the time the film was released, many of Carroll's fans were aghast at the Americanization of the story. The box office reception was a bit of a disaster, with the film earning back just $2.4 million of its original $3 million budget. In the 60s, college students became enamoured with the psychedelic nature of the visuals and the film eventually found a cult following. Over the subsequent years, the film enjoyed a resurgence, eventually becoming a huge VHS hit. A film that I am not so sure will ever become a hit after disappointing box office sales, at number 5 we have Treasure Planet. 
Despite starring Joseph Gordon Levitt and Emma Thompson, Disney's Treasure Planet was a bit of a flop. Although, when you hear the premise, it's easy to understand why. So, do you guys remember the much loved classic story of Treasure Island? This is a lot like that, but set in outer space. Really, I'm just gonna let the movie's theatrical release poster do the talking here. Yes, that is a ship flying through space. The movie cost $140 million to make, but gained just $109 million at the box office, losing over $30 million. Most of the money gained was from the overseas market, as it absolutely tanked in North America. The LA Times have cited Treasure Planet as one of the most expensive box office bombs of all time. In at number 4 we have Tomorrowland. Released in 2015 and starring George Clooney and Hugh Laurie, for some reason Tomorrowland just never took off. Named after the futuristic themed land at Disney parks, the film is about an inventor and a teen who embark upon a journey to an alternative dimension. With a budget of $190 million, it was reported that the actual cost of the movie was around $330 million. According to The Hollywood Reporter, this made Disney losses of around $120 million. Rotten Tomatoes have rated Tomorrowland a somewhat neutral 50%. Another Disney film with a similarly indifferent Rotten Tomato rating, at number 3 we have John Carter. Rated 51% on Rotten Tomatoes, John Carter was the first in a couple of low achieving Disney movies of recent years. John Carter is a sci fi movie based on A Princess of Mars by Edgar Rice Burroughs. The movie cost around $350 million, but raked in just $284.1 million. North American audiences really didn't connect with the material, although on the plus side, the Russian market was really into it. One critic from UK newspaper The Guardian called it a giant suffocating doughy feast of boredom. Ow. In at number 2 we have The Lone Ranger. So who knew that Captain Jack Sparrow was a Native American who previously went by the name of Tonto? Oh, I guess he wasn't, but the character portrayal was just really, 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 really similar. The Lone Ranger premiered in 2013 and had a movie budget of $225 million, with marketing costs at an additional estimated $150 million. After disappointing opening weekend sales, it was reported that the movie could face a loss of $150 million. On top of that, it was widely panned by critics as a flop, Rotten Tomatoes seldom lies, and its rating is just 31%. The Lone Ranger was compared with Disney's previous year flop, John Carter. It kind of just went from bad to worse. Walt Disney Studios Motion Pictures Vice President David Hollis called the performance of the movie very disappointing. The movie also won a Raspberry Award for Worst Prequel, Ripoff, or Sequel. Boo. Ok so we have reached that all important moment in our top 10 biggest Disney movie flops. This one shocked me as I absolutely love it. At number 1, can you believe it, it is Fantasia. Whilst people love Fantasia these days, back when Walt Disney released the movie in 1940, audiences were ambivalent. America was just recovering from the Great Depression and war had just begun in Europe, which widely affected distribution. At the time, audiences wanted simple escapism and there were many dark and thought provoking undertones that did not fit the needs of the current social climate. Fantasia cost $2.28 million to make, which was a mammoth sum at the time. Walt Disney Disney kept expanding the budget, adding more detail and length to the film, which ended up at 2 hours long, around 40 minutes longer than usual Disney movies. At the time of the release, theatres could not support the more complex sound Disney had wanted for the movie. On top of that, theatres were expensive to lease. Along with the public disinterest surrounding the movie, Disney failed to recoup his money. Luckily from around the 60s, public perception of Fantasia shifted and the movie was re-released several times, each time to great acclaim. From a flop to a hit, Fantasia has now made over 80 million in box office sales and is considered one of the best American films of all time. So there you have it, a really important message. Just because a situation seems really bad at the time, it doesn't mean that it can't turn into something great a little while later. So that was the top 10 biggest Disney movie flops. Do you agree with any on the list? Do you actually secretly love them in a cult following kind of way? Is 
Is there anything that should have been on this list that was not? I'm Rebecca Felgate. This has been Most Amazing Top 10. You guys can catch up with me on Instagram and Twitter and my own YouTube channel, Rebecca Felgate Official, where I promise we have loads of fun. But for now, if you like this video, make sure you give it a good thumbs up, share it with a friend, and of course, make sure you're subscribed to Most Amazing Top 10. And I will see you beauties next time.